All right, well, this uh, intro video, whatever you want to call this, this is step one of this like major huge project that it seems crazy of tearing the Impala apart again. So if you've been following along, if you haven't, please look back. Long story short though, in this Impala right here, a 383 LT1 by Golan, uh, same, just a brief, built heavier duty four speed, um, nothing major done other than, you know, internal engine work. Now, with that being said, I'm sticking with the same OptiSpark, same PCM, um, which, as you know, with, uh, it's kind of the big problem on these engines. Now, it's not a major problem, like, it's either love it or hate it. This Impala had the same OptiSpark for 100,000 miles, no problem. Then it had another one, just because my dad changed it when he owned the car, just for, you know, safety sake basically just so you didn't get stranded worked again for another 80,000 miles so never had opti problems now i'm running the msd billet unit uh, i think i'm at four or five thousand miles on it maybe at the most no problem still but this kind of came on my radar this this project this kit um a while ago and i finally kind of lined this all up kind of pulled the trigger on it decided i'm gonna do it all right, so the setup in question, torque head, OptiSpark Eliminator kit, coil packs, taking the Impala to the modern age. I'm gonna run you through kind of this, I got a huge box here with all the parts and what, what this consists of and kind of give you a, just a small sneak preview of what's coming here because this will be very detailed in order and videos are gonna come, you know, right, right as they're being, it's being worked on here. Long story short though, Torquehead takes the Opti away, replaces it with uh, basically a, a sensor that's going to work on the crank hub, and then it's going to use that to fire coil packs, long story short. Um, there's a lot involved with this um, as far as it's also reusing or, or using a new PCM, which is sitting right here. This is my favorite part of this because what this allows is a better tune, more in-depth tuning and just more functionality I guess you get a lot of people they don't want to screw with these LT1s the old PCMs they're just I don't want to say scared it's just not worth their time is what I'm finding um, but when you put this guy in there which by the way has all the same connectors for the Impala so I'm gonna basically be able to take all the wires off of the stock PCM plug them right into here so like I said this PCM is amazingly legit in the fact that it just plugs right into this car. My Impala is a 96. I don't have, we'll say, the problems of like an OBD1 car, but you are looking at an OBD2 PCM going into, say, you do have a 94, 95 Impala or Camaro or Trans Am, something like that. Torquehead is like these brainiac geniuses that figure this stuff out. I'm just blown away by this when they tell me like little facts and I read things on their website. Um, this, this will work with a 94 Camaro with an automatic transmission or a manual and it doesn't matter. They put everything inside this so you don't have to pull your trans and like make mods to that to make it talk to this computer. It's all in here. The other thing which I used to have this on my Camaro and when I was being talking to him about this I was like oh there's something else I like wouldn't have thought of this. This has built into it for the 94 95s the ASR function which if you've seen the F-Body, that's the traction control button on the dash that is basically the spark retard and the, it does the different things like that when you basically spin the tires. Um, this still works. It, it won't like disable your dash light. It won't say ASR off or anything like that. So in, a, in addition to the great tuning abilities, the plug and play with your car, it's got a lot more inside of it than just those two things. So. A pretty neat piece of hardware here. I'm really curious. My, my one thing is how this is going to work under my K&N intake here and how this will fit in comparison to the stock PCM because it is a little bit thicker. So we'll see here what, what I end up having to do. Hopefully not too much, but whatever it is with the PCM, it's going to be worth it for sure. The best part by far for anybody that knows the LT1 is the OptiSpark will be gone. No mess of wires, no exposed uh, electronics behind the water pump. It's all gone. It's, it's going to be replaced with this amazing piece. 
basically looks kind of like an Optispark, park, but it's not. Cam driven, same thing. Um, sensor here to pick up the crank hub, which I'll show you, show you in a second is new. Um, and that's gonna send the signal basically back to the, the whole system there. So this will be in place of the OptiSpark. Uh, hint, hint, if you want an MSD OptiSpark, let me know. It's gonna be for sale here as soon as it's off the car. Moving on. Now on this particular LT1, I did an over the valve cover wire setup, uh, you know, from the OptiSpark, right down, drops through the headers, all gonna be gone. Once again, if you need over the valve cover spark plug wires, I got them. I'm gonna be selling the whole setup because this magical little thing bolts in its place. These are the eight, well technically four right here, but I'm gonna have eight coil packs mounted to the valve cover and basically drop down wires to each plug. Pretty slick, right? Now what's really cool about this, and my biggest fear was, say I go to drive to Florida someday, take my family, we're on the car, boom, something goes wrong in West Virginia, I'm in the middle of nowhere, how am I gonna get parts for this? Well, these are all basically stock, off the shelf GM parts, so any AutoZone, Pep Boys, O'Reilly's, they're gonna be able to hook you up with something that's gonna work in place of this. So have no fear in that regard, it's pretty simple stuff. So, very cool though, if you check these out. Another one of the main components that is required for this setup is the new crank hub. Once again, I'm gonna be pulling my crank hub, which I feel like I just put on this car, um, and it's barely used. It was brand new when I did the motor. Don't need it anymore because you're replacing it with this guy. It's got this, basically, an array of notches and grooves in it. So the sensor that I showed you, which is the OptiSpark piece, will be picking this up and basically getting information from it. This will be set up for an ATI uh, super balancer hub thing that I gotta pick up still. Bolts right on there, which will replace my uh, March underdrive pulley setup, which I'm just kind of over it. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, and I think it's just more of a hassle than anything. So, um, another very important component. Also, with the kit, amazingly built wire looms, connectors, it's all in here. It's all done. Just like that uh, wiring harness kit I had for the water pump for the battery, this stuff is just as good. All weather pack connectors built nicely. I don't even want to take it out of the bag yet because it's so nicely just nice in there, brand new. Then of course we have plug wires because these are going to be newer, shorter plug wires um, send me some MSD wires here. You basically make them sort of yourself. Just put the ends on them so they're the right length exactly for your application. Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. Now after showing you all that, I know there's going to be lots of questions. Um, you, you know, there's, di there's a couple different companies that do this, but I found Torquehead seems to be the best because when I deal with the uh, owner of the company, he's always sending me he's sending me pictures. My, my parts were pre-tested to work. Uh, he's at almost 100% install rate, as in when you put this in, you follow the instructions, which by the way, you get not one, but two very detailed color sets of instructions in here. Um, you know, er everything is as it needs to be and explains it. If you follow that, you're at almost 100% turn the key and go. The PCM is a base B-body tune, as in like OEM stock. So I'm gonna have to get that worked uh, to match my current tune in here so it works on the LT1383 here. But then from there, it's gonna be dyno tune. And I you know, I had all intentions to dyno tune this, uh, this past fall when I was still driving this car but it would have been kind of stupid to dyno tune the stock PCM and then put all this in and basically, you know, wipe all that out. So long story short, I'm rambling here. I'm talking about the Torquehead setup. 
I'm going to start tearing this down. It's going to be step by step, as in kind of like a big saga of, of the process from removing the water pump to taking off the Opti and, you know, just disassembly. And then from there, I'm going to go through and kind of walk you through how this works. So I highly recommend if you are a on the fence person, you are getting a torque head, uh, stick with me on this because you're going to see that this will be a, a pretty comprehensive install video. Um, the Impala is on the lift. It's, it's winter here in Ohio. It's not being driven. So it's going to be pretty much this will be one of the main focuses this winter on the project. Um, you know, like I said, biggest goal is reliability, tunability, and just in general, you know, keeping this thing running. You have to imagine how many LT1s are out there with either OptiSpark problems or PCM problems, and this sort of is the fix-all for them to keep those LT1s on the road. It's not a cheap solution, but at the same time, um, you take a lot of guesswork out of the whole process and add a lot of reliability to your engine and your vehicle. Uh, Torquehead just came out with a C4 setup for C4 Corvettes with the LT1 and it talks to the digital dash now. I mean, just it's really neat stuff he's coming up with over there. You may have seen the, the slim alternator case that's coming from Torquehead too. So Torquehead, uh, it's T-O-R-Q-H-E-A-D dot com. Check them out. They're on Facebook. They're on uh, Instagram. They're on uh, Torquehead.com, like I just said. And kind of, you know, if you're going to follow along with this, clearly I am not the absolute expert, but I'm planning to be the best I can be for these movies. Um, but check them out, you know, so you kind of do a little research yourself if you're interested in this. If you have a question, drop it in the comment below. Answer it the best you can. Um, hit subscribe to uh, follow along with this and check Instagram and Facebook and different places because I will be sort of documenting this process everywhere but most of the videos are going to be housed right on YouTube here on the channel so thank you for watching sorry that was a lot but come on this is a big deal this is huge this is so exciting for me and I hope you're just as excited to kind of follow along as I do it Rubber City Motoring uh, in Akron, Ohio, 383 LT1 Torquette install, video one. Thank you. See you next time.